I drink smoothies almost every single day. And this was an interesting smoothie, so I ordered it. It was a, it's called a Sweet Georgia Sunrise Smoothie that has pineapple, avocado, honey, and it has peaches in it. And so I'm going to make that in my Blendtec um, blender, which I've had other blenders. This blender is absolutely amazing. So that's what I'm going to use. So let's get started. This is a very simple recipe. The first thing I'm supposed to do is to prepare the avocados, which I'm just going to half them and remove the, the pit. Now I'm just going to start adding all the ingredients to my blender. In the blend tech, you add liquids first. So I need 12 ounces of pineapple juice. So uh, Home Chef has sent two little cans. Now I use Home Chef because of the convenience. It's certainly cheaper to make these yourself. Uh, it's not that much more expensive to have them send the things to you, but I like the convenience. Here's the avocados that I chopped up. And then um, when the container came, it came with uh, frozen peaches. It's peaches that they have cut up. So I'm going to dump that in. If it'll come out. there. Okay, and then they have sent four little packets of honey. So I'm going to add those. So now I have the honey in there. And then I'm supposed to add two cups of ice on the top. So I'm going to do that. The splinter's really big, so my cups are hitting the counter, I mean the cabinet on, above it. So that's my two cups of ice. And now I have lots of options on, on the front of my Blendtec. And I'm going to use this ice crush milkshake one. There is a smoothie one, which I use most of the time. But I'm going to use this one because I put two cups of ice and frozen peaches in there. And I want to make sure that it gets really smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and push the button. Now it should be done. It, uh, Blendtec also came with this giant smooth uh, spoon. I've never needed it before, but I can see that in, in this recipe there is still some honey along the side of it, uh, but I think I'll just blend, uh, stir that up with my spoon. I think that's because I put the honey on the frozen ingredients and it just, you know, it's just not as fluid as it would normally have been. All right, now I'm going to pour it into cups. So there they are after they're done, and I did taste it, and it is absolutely delicious. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean the Blendtec. Now you can probably use this method with, with any blender. Uh, I've always washed mine, but I don't ever put this one in the dishwasher. So all I've, I've done is put a small amount of water in the bottom, and then the green stuff is just some dish uh, liquid. I just put a little squirt of dish liquid in there. And then I press the pulse button for 10 seconds, and then this thing is spotless and good to go. And then I just rinse it out, and it's clean, and I can put it up, and it's not taking up a lot of space. So that's it.